Top 15 Best Dogs for Large Families What are the best dogs for large families? Today, I will be providing you with an extensive list so you can have more choices and make sure you have the best dogs for your family and children. We'll run through 15 breeds with different sizes and energy levels, but with two things in common. They are all sociable and pleasant. Remember that not all dogs enjoy a crowd. Some breeds get overwhelmed with lots of people. For large families, obviously, having a sociable dog is ideal. Also, the temperament or natural inclination of a dog is worth checking. On one hand, being in a large family means more love and attention. On the other hand, it also means having to get along with more people. From the primary owner to other people at home, both kids and adults, the best dog should not be fussy, noisy, or aggressive. With those two main factors in mind, here are my top 15 picks, in no particular order, for the best dogs for children and families. Number 1. Collie. Historically, collies were used by shepherds as companions as well as sheep gatherers and protectors. With their origin, you can already get a feel of what kind of pet they are. Helping out a shepherd lead a herd of sheep, they have a balanced protective instinct, friendliness, and intelligence. This makes them an ideal dog for families regardless of age, even those with babies and the elderly. While smart and gentle, and capable of reciprocating the love their owners give them, collies require exercise. Make sure you have enough space for them to roam around or dedicate time for a walk. Number 2. Great Dane. With their domineering stature and serious face, Great Danes may appear scary and intimidating. Their personality, however, is the complete opposite of how they look. Great Danes are called gentle giants because they are sweet and easygoing, a little clumsy at times too. They are low maintenance when it comes to grooming and training. They do tend to eat a lot, though, and are apprehensive of new dogs, so those are factors you want to consider. Number 3. Samied. If you want a source of fluff and gentleness, Samoyeds are your best bet. Their thick fur might be a little high maintenance, but they are among the most mild-mannered and sociable breeds. Plus, they enjoy cuddles. They love attention, but not necessarily playing. Sometimes, simply being able to rest near the family members is enough for the Samoyeds. Number 4. Beagle. Beagles have the reputation of being active, friendly, and curious. They love walking and playing, so they are perfect for families with backyards. The downside is they can be a little loud if they are unhappy or in need of attention, so dedicating time for family members to play with them is a must. Beagles are very sociable, whether humans or fellow dogs, so you won't have to worry about the chemistry in your household. Number 5. Golden Retriever. Golden Retrievers are friendly, playful, and loyal. They are one of the most popular breeds because of their cheerful demeanor. They are very active, so they require exercise. Also, keep in mind that they like being around their owners, so expect them to cling to you at times. It is rewarding to raise golden retrievers, nonetheless, because they know how to reciprocate the attention and time you give them. Their loyalty is one of a kind, so they will always wait for you to come home and shower you with enthusiasm once you do. Number 6. Labrador Retriever. Another active dog is the Labrador Retriever. Labrador Retrievers are highly trainable, which is why they also become guide dogs, police dogs, and helper dogs. They're smart, strong, and pleasant. They get along well with almost everyone. If you have other pets or many family members, introduce them to your Labrador Retrievers and watch them socialize with the new addition to your household. Number 7. Newfoundland. Newfoundlands or Newfies are another bunch of gentle giants. They are big and fluffy dogs under the working dog group. Working dogs were bred to guard, assist, and even save humans. They have the instincts necessary in a home, so once trained, they can help you with daily tasks. Newfies may be large but they are not as active compared to other dogs. Still, you need to consider the size of your home. In terms of temperament though, they are not aggressive and will get along well with the family. Number 8. Staffordshire Bull Terriers.
Staffordshire Bull Terriers or Staffies may look fierce due to their muscular build, but they are quite gentle. Despite coming from the pit bull breed, they are playful and patient. They are considered as nanny dogs, along with the Newfies. With their intelligence, sensitivity, and friendliness, you can expect them to lend a helping hand, on in their case, a lending paw. Here's the catch though. Staffies tend to be a little stubborn and headstrong. Will power is needed to train them, so be patient with them too. Once you earn their trust, they will return it with love and loyalty. Number 9. Boxer. Boxers are dogs that will crave affection from adults, and most especially from children. You can rely on them to protect and snuggle with your little ones. The good news is their exercise does not need to be outdoors. They can simply walk around and play with you inside the house. They do snore and drool at times. That's something to consider if you are sensitive about that. Number 10. Japanese Spitz. Known for their curly tail and white fur, Japanese Spitzies are curious, friendly, and trainable. They are very sociable but are not attention-seeking. Since it is their nature to be playful yet gentle, they are not prone to biting or nipping. Despite their size, they are comfortable as indoor pets since they are not that active and enjoy the warmth. They do, however, have the instinct of a guard dog, so they will bark at strangers. Note that their barks are on the high-pitched side so it may get annoying. Otherwise, they're pretty chill as pets. Number 11. Carrie Blue Terrier. From a white-furred dog, let's move on to a dark-furred breed. Kerry Blue Terriers are originally from Ireland. This breed tends to be stubborn so early training is needed. Once they learn, though, they are very obedient and affectionate, which isn't surprising especially since they are part of the working dog group. Number 12. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Now, let's move on to smaller dogs. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a breed of lapdog that enjoys petting, brushing, and playing. While they do enjoy playtime and walks, they are not very active, so they would be okay for families who are challenged in terms of space. Sociability-wise, they love being around their owners. Expect them to sleep or relax with members of the family whom they adore, because they simply love companionship. Number 13. Pug. For families that prefer small dogs that are not delicate, pugs are the best choice. They love playing, squeezing in between family members, and snuggling during sleep. Their muscular build makes them strong enough for kids who tend to play rough, although of course, this should be supervised. While pugs are generally low maintenance, it's always good to watch their diet and exercise to make sure they do not become overweight. Also, while their large eyes may be adorable, they're prone to infections, so make sure you pay extra attention to them. Number 14. Boston Terrier. A breed resembling pugs but comes in a bigger size is the Boston Terrier. Boston Terriers are your low-maintenance, moderately active, and highly portable dogs. They're cheerful around people but also alert in case of intruders. Like pugs, their big eyes are prone to infections. Also, since they have short snouts, they do have difficulty breathing especially in warm places. Number 15. Coton de Tullier. Last on the list is the Coton de Tullier or Coton. Cotons are long-haired dogs originating in Madagascar, but have since become popular in other countries. They are companion dogs, so they love being around people and get grumpy when they are left alone. They only require moderate exercise, which can be done indoors, but they do need frequent brushing. Also, if you have other pets including cats, Cotons are quite friendly with them too. Those are my top 15 best dogs for large families. But before we end this video, I have to remind you of something very, very important. No matter what type of dog you have, the standard dog food wouldn't cut it. Dogs are part of your families too. You must keep them healthy so you can spend more time with them and grow old together. The great news is there's a platform for this specific need. For nutritious and accessible food for your dogs, check out Ollie at dogoracle.com slash Ollie. I love this website because it offers a wide variety of food, plus with a subscription, your order is delivered to your doorstep for free. Exclusive discount, 
free delivery, and healthy food, make sure you visit dogoracle.com slash ollie to give your dogs the nourishment and love they deserve. We will also drop a link down below. Now, with that reminder, comes our wrap-up. When it comes to large families, considering the natural temperament and sociability of a dog is a must. Keep in mind though, that the same with the nature versus nurture argument with humans, dogs can be trained too. If you feel that you have found dogs that are compatible with your family, be patient with training and caring for them. Regardless of breed, well-nurtured dogs will reciprocate your efforts with love. If you need help with training your dog check out the links below for some free training resources. What are your top dog picks for large families that are looking for dogs? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates.